let's have a look. We are then going to go over to our uh, stamp and die. So what we'll do, before I show you them in uh, a bit more close up, have a look at this. There we go. So you may be familiar with our uh, stamp, our layering stamps. So we've got some new ones for you. You've got some dies that come with them. So you can see we're going to have two sets. So what we've got is we're going to have the, um, it's like the birthday celebration. So we've got some cakes, we've got some ice creams. Then we've also got another selection that have got some, they're kind of like uh, flowers as well on them. You can be changing the colors. Uh, I've got those first six. They will be the option to get um, a, well, I'm saying the next one. It's kind of like the seventh one. Um, so you want to keep your eyes uh, tuned uh, for uh, Wednesday with Sarah to see all of that. So what we are going to do is we're going to have a, a wee look at um, the first six that you can see just at the side here. So what we've got, we've got all six. So two options for you, whereas you're going to have uh, the, uh, the cake and ice cream option. So if I bring these, um, out the way so you can see. I'm going to bring these a bit closer for you to see. So we've got these ones here. So this is the ice cream cone. So we've got there, um, or we've got the ice cream cone. You can also be doing cupcakes with it as well. So what we've got, if we show you just down at the bottom, is you've got the dies to go with it. But this is where if you stamp one, then the next layer on top, then the next layer, that will then give you the full on ice cream top with the shade in. And then all you need to do is just come along with the die and die cut it. So we'll show you, uh, I've not had a chance to play with these yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a wee shot live on Facebook together. So there we go. So that is your, well, your ice cream cone, but you can also create a cupcake. 18 elements in that one. You will get a color key for it. That is just for inspiration. You can, of course, use any color you like. Then we've got these ones here. Now these are like your uh, macaroons. Uh, something that's getting, the macaroons, yeah, they are, aren't they? There's something that are uh, getting more and more popular here uh, in the UK. Um, I know they're quite big in America, so uh, we've got them now across here. So you've got your macaroons, you could be doing them separately, you can make them as a tiered cake. You've got your wee uh, tier as well for them to sit on. Same uh, concept where you've got your layering and you've got your dies as well to cut around. So that is that one, 22 in total of that one there. And then we've got this one here, look at that one. So we've just got 11 in this one, but you are getting a lot of substantial detail within these ones there. You've got your layering cake just there, very British on that one there, very summertime um, cake on that one there. So if I turn that around as well, you can see the ideas that you've got within that one. So that's your first one. And let's see if we can uh, put them away, neat and tidy. And then we've also got these ones here. So these are your flowers. So again, we are giving you inspiration when it comes to the colors, but you can do them any way you like. So there we we'll go on that one there. So you can see that one as if I just turn that around towards me, which is the in bloom for this one here. We are giving you the ideas with the lilacs and purples, but you can be using them any way you like. So the ideas and inspirations are along the bottom there. So you stamp one, stamp two, stamp a third. Some of them you've even got four in different shades and these create all these flowers absolutely gorgeous as well so that has got 21 in uh, those ones there that's including the dies that you get then this one we have got perfect posy 24 in total on this one stamps and dies do your layering up but of course you don't have to layer them up you can use all the elements individually if you wish and then last but not least on this one here we have got vase bouquet so we've got this one there. If, uh, whenever I see that, I always think of a character of an old comedy here in the UK, um, keeping up appearances, Mrs. Mrs. Bucket, or uh, Bouquet, as she would like to say. So there we go, we've got the flowers there, all these elements at the bottom for you to uh, do your uh, layering, but of course you could be using them on their own. 23 elements in that one. So when I'm saying elements, that is included the stamps and the dies. So we have got some uh, inspiration on these ones here coming up on your screen just next. Have a look at this. So there we go. We have got the uh, got the cupcake as well as the ice cream there. Really cute on that one. Very summertime. Happy birthday with that big cake. Look at that. So just bringing in some shape cards there. Looks absolutely stunning. Macaroons. Look at that. Actually, they look so tasty, don't they? 
Laura in my ear is a real foodie and she's loving the thoughts of them. Then we've got the flower ones as well with uh, Mrs. Uh, Bucket or the bouquet, should I be saying. We've got these ones here uh, and then there we go. So we've got another angle on that one there. What about this one? Making your accordion cards. Really quick, really simple, but really, really effective. Bringing in this one here, making it a bit smaller here, changing the colours, bringing in your embossing folders, bringing in even your embossing powders, anything like that. What you can do, remember, is if you then use uh, our new ink pads, our opaque ones, that you maybe see coming soon, what you can do is stamp using those colours and then put your clear embossing powders over the top using different layers and that as well. Have a play, have an experiment and just see what you can do with your crafty goodies.